darling in the coming weeks we got some real cool projects to do one of the main ingredients is lye so today we're going to show you how to make lye the way grandma would have come on we're starting the project off with making a fire because you make lye out of ashes lye is two different aculine compounds known as sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is made from salt and potassium hydroxide is made from hard wood ash when it comes to making soap Sodium hydroxide is the preferred lye, mainly because it allows the soap to firm up and turn into a nice solid bar of soap. However, Grandma would have used what she had and ashes what was available. If she wanted her soap a little harder, she would have added a little bit of salt. I'll finish burning down the rest of the evening and I'm going to catch them tomorrow once they cool down some. The next day, my pot's got a small layer of water at the bottom and I'm just going to fill it up with my ash. I'm doing this on a very small scale. However, if you do this, you're going to want to go ahead and do as much as you can at one time. That lye can cause chemical burns, so wear something over your eyes. Wear some gloves. If this is your first rodeo, it's probably not the time to get the kids involved. Add just enough water to turn it into mud. Allow this to hang out in the pot for several hours, stirring occasionally. Strain all the big chunks out into a stainless steel pot. Bring this to a boil. Once the mixture comes to a boil, you're going to immediately switch over to a saucepan and put it on simmer. You're going to allow this mixture to slowly cook on simmer until it crystallizes. You're going to be stirring this sucker more than you stirred anything else. Looky there, looky there. We pretty much made this for free and light is fairly expensive. I'll definitely give it a try. 